Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing a new concept creature, which I came up with. Um, this one is going to be a mix between a pelican, a fish, a lizard, or a reptile, and a spider. Um, the main idea behind the design of this particular creature is the environment which it was meant for. So I started off with... I actually got to this this shape after a while. I I did a bunch of experimenting, and it didn't really work out at the beginning. I wanted to combine, again, another fish type of head with um, um, a mammal slash land dweller body. And uh, I went through a few failures until I got to... I decided to include a spider in it, and then I just finally ended up with this uh, this form. So basically what this creature is meant for is um, an arid sort of habitat. But because I designed its legs somewhat as a spider, it's like they're not made of kidness plating, the creature is supposed to be covered in a sort of a hardened skin, kind of like an elephant, uh, which can withstand heat and uh, wind and dust and stuff like that. So it's not a smooth looking, shiny creature. Uh, the feet are designed as sort of spikes, really, that um, go into the ground when it walks around. It's supposed to be, use its, uh, its, its its hands as support for the body, but uh, of course it can just rely on its legs to move around and use its hands, with which do have opposable, or at least are supposed to have opposable thumbs, uh, to dig around and, uh, like gather various foodstuffs and catch animals or something like that. Who knows? Um, the fact of the matter is, the creature is supposed to live in like a sort of a, a salt flats kind of environment. Either that or a very mountainous, uh, arid terrain. Something that doesn't have a lot of lush vegetation or anything like that. I included uh, the pelican in its like sort of throat pouch. Really, that's about the only thing I copied from the, the pelican. Um, basically a place where it could store uh, water, you know, in case it traveled for long periods of time without finding any sort of stream or water source, or potential food, why not, you know, in case there's scarce food, which would be the situation in a, in the environment which I mentioned this creature should be, should be living in. So, it walks around with its spiky legs or spiky feet, um... It's not meant for desert or any sort of soft ground because the, the feet would just sink in. So it's meant for very hard terrain, something that it could dig its um, its feet into and have support, you know. So that kind of plays on the idea that in a, in a place like a salt flat or a dry, arid sort of desert, but not sandy desert, just a, any sort of desert, with powerful winds, this creature could be very stable because it could just... Uh, impale the ground with its feet and then it wouldn't be taken or moved around by the winds that sometimes blow in these environments um i added spikes or sort of like f initially i wanted to add shark fins i wanted to make something with a shark but it i didn't it didn't really work out for me so i gave up the whole shark idea but i added some sort of spikes to its back and and uh, face really in case of a confrontational situation it would be able to you know, swing around on its legs and use its body as a sort of a demolition ball, really, just it, cutting up enemies and whatnot. Also, you could, it could just use its hands as support and just uh, squat down and, like, impale its enemies on the spikes or something like that. Scale size, I, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be like compared to a human. Probably, like, two meters tall as it's standing right now. I wouldn't imagine it, it, would, it would be any larger than that. Um... It doesn't have any claws because I thought that adding... Cl I, I usually add claws to a lot of my drawings and I'm, I'm trying to kind of stop that. There's a the few elements that I keep adding all the time that I'm trying to uh, stop using as often because I think they're becoming sort of cliche, like reptile-type legs with or feet with claws. A lot of my drawings have that. A lot of my concepts have that. So I'm trying to kind of stay away from it. Um, another thing which... Uh, sort of defines the nature of this creature is it's not really meant for combat like it's an omnivore sure it can store it can eat plants vegetables whatever it finds really but it was meant uh, like a sort of a camel type creature that can last for very long without water or uh, any nutritional source simply because the environment which it would t theoretically live in wouldn't have a lot of that laying around very often as for um 
I don't know. What else? What else can I say? It does have a tail for back support because else it would just, I think at least, from what I know about uh, center of gravity, it would always tend to scoot forward if it didn't have the tail for support. Um, I guess it could, couldn't really like run really fast because of the nature of its um, of its legs. But uh, I use the spider model legs because those are usually pretty creepy. But as I said, it's not uh, covered in kidness plate or anything. So this is basically just like a reptile, really. You never know what it could be. It could be anything. It could be mammal, both mammal and reptile, depending on what the situation calls for, I guess. It's not like I, there's a world I could put this creature in, but it, you know, it's good to think of certain situations where you might use something like this, else you end up with something that makes no sense. So yeah, this is a creature meant for like a mountainous, dry sort of terrain and... Maybe even snow. No, not snow. No, definitely not so because of the feet. That would never work. But ice would work. It could be an Arctic creature. Eh, that could work. Digging its feet into ice and like climbing on top of icebergs and shit. You never know. So this was about it. <clears throat> the fish mostly is mostly noticeable in its head shape, really, because its head sort of looks like a kind of bird, but at the same time it has a fish sort of mouth, really with uh, uh, the thicker lower lip, as you can see there. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the concept. Just plenty of suggestions people gave, and I think that's enough for now, so you can relax, because I think like 70% of people, all they did was list animals, which they, yeah. Anyway, I'll, uh, there's definitely not a lack of material for me to get inspiration from, so. Yeah, this was about it. Thanks uh, for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, <laughs> Diablo is coming out, motherfuckers. You're not never going to see me again. <laughs> nah, kidding. I got to find time to do everything. Like, keeping a normal daily schedule with Diablo 3 coming out is going to be somewhat difficult. But uh, as soon as I start playing it, I'm sure I'm going to find a lot of creatures that I can, I can draw that weren't present in the concept art posted on their website. So that's kind of looking forward to that. Lots of inspiration in games like that. Plus, we all know Blizzard is pretty good when it comes to character design. So yeah, thanks for watching again, and please rate it, and I'll see you for my next videos. Bye-bye.